I was working a night shift in the East Bay uh, in my emergency medicine career. And as I was driving home, and after you've worked all night, your mind is tired, but you're also kind of more open because you've, you've survived the night, it's the daytime. And I was driving on the Richmond Bridge, and I heard on the radio that there was a demonstration at San Quentin Prison to protest the use of cap the first use of capital punishment in 17 years um, that was going to be scheduled in a few days. So I said, hey, that might be interesting. So I turned left and went to San Quentin and I joined this group of people who were speaking about their heartfelt opposition to the use of capital punishment. And um, when I got home, I decided to call San Quentin and ask them, how are you intending to kill this prisoner, this inmate? And they said, well, we use the gas chamber. And I said, what gas do you use? They said, cyanide gas. And I said, and I knew from the emergency room that people exposed to cyanide were suffering quite a bit because we were taught to recognize the effects of, let's say, industrial cyanide exposure. And, um, and I asked them, well, isn't that somewhat humane? And they said, oh no, they just die instantly. So I, it didn't jive, so I called a friend of mine who was one of the directors of the Poison Control Center in San Francisco, and I said, what do you think of this, you know, that they use this? And he said, that's interesting. I don't know why they would use that. It's not a very humane thing. So he and I wrote a letter um, and we sent it to some of the newspapers and, we, and it, it made its way to the American Civil Liberties Union. And then the execution was delayed for a number of months, but then one day I got a call and it was from these wonderful attorneys who were trying to prevent the use of the gas chamber and capital punishment. And they said, would you help us? Because we have found out from all kind of other states and examining all of the records that this is an inhumane way. Even if you believed in capital punishment, this was an inhumane way to do it. And I said, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll help you. And so I joined the effort and I appeared at a press conference of the American Civil Liberties Union when they filed a lawsuit in federal court. And it was, qu it was quite an amazing front row seat into a very uh, meaningful and, and very, um, uh, you know, sad part of our uh, legal system where we still have this, unlike the vast majority of civilized countries of the world that have that have abandoned the death penalty. So um, that prisoner was eventually executed, and a few others were also. But eventually, the courts found the use of, of cyanide gas in the gas chamber unconstitutional, and it was supported by appellate courts. And it, although it never completely finished every state abandoned the use of the gas chamber. So I was very heartened that I had a small role to play in that improvement of the human condition.